Hello, it's Bob Butero, the Yoga Life Institute uh, Summer Meditation Course Lesson 6 on Purity with an emphasis on effort and detachment. I'd like to remind the Sunday morning folks meeting in Devon that will be off-site this week and there'll be directions sent to you on the email. Monday night we'll meet as usual. Well, when you think of effort and detachment, the Chinese image of the yin and yang, if you've ever seen it, it's a circle uh, with one part black and one part white in color and then each part has a, a, a dot of the opposite color in it and it represents the Sun and the moon uh, the male female dominant passive uh, and in our case for this discussion effort and detachment so in the field of yoga when we talk about being pure having a mind that's pure you're both needing to work at it but then also have patience with it and finding a balance between these two poles is very difficult you can often examine the yoga or meditation group when you hear their teachings you can see if they're an effort driven organization where there's a lot of discussion on what you need to do or if they're somewhat driven by this theme of detachment where letting go being passive relaxing is the mode of operation or if the two are joined together and most balanced programs are going to say you need to be responsible but then you need to be easy on yourself for example if I try too hard at meditation it's kind of a, an irony I'll start to think come on get it right get it right you try harder and as I do that I generate thoughts which cause the meditation to be ineffective if I can balance my effort out okay let's try to concentrate be patient with the disturbances and then there's a level of silence if I can kind of have that balance if I'm too passive then I sit there the thoughts come and go and I just let them happen and they actually accrue because I'm kind of lazy or I don't get to the meditation but I don't worry about that because that would be stressful or something and then there's just too much passivity another point I wanted to make is that when you're new at anything it takes more effort at first common sense if you're trying to develop a meditation practice at home you're gonna to have to work harder at it than if you've been doing the meditation for three years in a row and every day you more or less wake up you have your routine set you know what time you need to go to bed you wake up in the morning you do your meditation you have breakfast and you move on into your day well in the beginning it's going to take more effort in the end it's going to take a level of detachment for the times that you may miss for whatever good reason it takes a little level of detachment to allow yourself to get right back on the path so we have a bunch of questions is the third stage of this discussion on expectations and I have this theory that when you expect something from meditation you're likely to go in one direction either toward effort or toward detachment if you can understand your expectations be realistic with those expectations I think you can minimize the imbalances that are going to occur we're never going to have this effort detachment struck absolutely perfectly but we can work toward gaining some real stability and finding a level of harmony keep up with your practice I'll look forward to seeing you this weekend in our classes in Devon take care